Hi, in this video I will explain how Perse's 10 genuine classes of science fit in our periodic table of classes of science. Then I will give some thoughts about how the concept of solenoid of semiosis help us to understand the concept of genuine in the persistent genuine classes of science and then I will explain how uh, the periods and phases described by the solenoid of semiosis and printed in this triangular periodic table of classes of science help us to understand a little better uh, the interpretation of each of Perse's 10 genuine classes of science. So, the first thing you notice in our table of 10 genuine classes of science is that they are colored. Now, oh, there are three colors in the table of 10 genuine classes of science. That means that each color is linked to the category that dominates the first correlate of each of the ten uh, genuine classes of science. So we have here the qualisign icon Rema, which is red because qualisign, which is the first correlate, is firstness, and firstness is represented by red. Then you have yellow because the first correlate, correlate of sin signs are secondness. They are all dominated by secondness. Sin signs are secondness, so they are yellow. And then you have blue for legis signs because legis signs are in the first correlate. Legis signs are all thirdness, so thirdness in the first correlate give us the blue color. That's for the colors. Now, uh, how versus 10 genuine classes of science are distributed in our table? This is something very important because they are here in the same relations they have if you look at them directly in the small triangle of 10 classes of science. So, all the relations between the 10 genuine classes of science are preserved in our periodic table of classes of science. You can find them here because they have this bold black square or you will find them in our website because they, the, the, they are all in bold letters when you look at them uh, very closely. Now let's take a look at the distribution of Perse's 10 genuine classes of science in the periodic table of classes of science. Notice that all 10 genuine classes of science preserve the same relational distribution they have if we looked at them directly in the small triangle designed by Perse in, in his 1903 syllabus. So, if we erase all classes of science that have some degree of degenerations, they are 56, what we get is only the 10 classes of science distributed in the exact same relation they have in the small triangle. That's something very important. Now let's talk about the little numbers that are around each class of sign and the little squares of the periodic table of classes of signs. The first number you may notice is this one here which is in the upper right corner of each square which means uh, the identification, the ID of each class of sign in relation to the other classes of signs of the periodic table. So, as semiosis develops toward, from grounding towards communication and from perception 
towards scientific phase as solenoid uh, develops, we see the IDs changing and growing in number until they reach the 66, which is the uh, highest number of the table. The other sequence of numbers, which are located in the left upper corner of each square, they represent the correlates of each genuine classes of signs. So we have here 1, 1, 1, because the first uh, of the uh, genuine classes of signs have, has all three correlates as firstness. You have here 2, 1, 1, because the same sign is a secondness, icon is a firstness, and grandma is a firstness as well, and so on for all 10 genuine, genuine classes of signs. Now let's pay a special attention to the sequence of 11 numbers which is located at the bottom of each genuine classes of signs. Now, these 11 numbers, they are linked to the 11 aspects of each class of sign. The first number is linked to the aspect of immediate object. The last number is linked to the aspect of the relation between sign, dynamic object, and final interpretant. So, as the semiosis develops from grounding towards communication and then from perception towards scientific phase, we see these little numbers a uh, change of categories. The 11 aspects of the solenoid represented by this sequence of numbers done here are very important also to understand the idea, the concept of genuine when you're, we are talking about genuine classes of signs. Now, bear in mind that a correlate and a aspect are different things. When we are talking about correlates, we are adopting a panoramic point of view uh, when describing each class of sign. When we are talking about aspects, we are adopting a microscopic point of view uh, describing each class of sign. So a correlate is actually a conjunction of aspects. Now, in the genuine classes of signs, we see this conjunction of aspects to create the correlates in a very clear way. Why so? Because only in the genuine classes of signs we can see homogeneity of aspects creating every genuine classes of signs. Let's take as an example the first correlate. Now, the first correlate of this first genuine classes of sign is created by the conjunction of all aspects belonging to the periods of grounding and presentation. They are these six numbers group together. So they are all firstness because qualis sign has firstness in the grounding period and firstness in the presentation period. Now, in this genuine classes of sign, we have as a first correlate a sin sign. A sin sign is composed by the first six aspects of the period of grounding and presentation, and they are all seconds. The same happens with the legis sign. The legis sign has all six first numbers, which are the aspects of the grounding and presentation periods, all terms. So there is homogeneity of categories of all first six aspects creating a genuine first correlate. So a degenerate first correlate is a class of sign that does not have, uh, has, have this homogeneity of aspects. Let's take a look at the second correlate. The same thing. We have here icon 
which is foolishness in the second correlate. Now, talking about aspects, the three aspects that create in conjunction the period of representation, they are all firstness. Now, you see an index, the three aspects that in conjunction create the uh, second correlate, which are the aspects of representation, they are all secondness. And then a symbol, you see here the three aspects of representation, uh, they are all thirdness to create the idea of a symbol. And finally, we have uh, in the third uh, correlate, when we have the two aspects linked to the period of communication as firstness, we have a rhema. When we have the two last aspects of the solenoid of semiosis, uh, which are linked to communication, they are all secondness, then we have a DC sign. And when we have the last two aspects of the solenoid of semiosis, which are linked to the communication period as thirdness, and then we have the argument. So, being a genuine class of sign means having the same categories in all first six aspects which are linked to grounding and presentation and then the same categories to the period of representation and then the same categories in the period of communication. That's what a genuine class of sign really means when we are looking in the microscopic grain of the solenoid of semiosis. All other 56 classes of sign has, have some kind of degeneration, so they don't have this homogeneity of categories in the aspects as we describe now. Now, finally, let's see how the position of every uh, genuine classes of sign in this uh, periodic table classes of sign help us under understand what they really mean when analyzing terms of periods and phases. You see, this first genuine classes of sign belongs to grounding and perception, which means that it is a perception of a grounding of reality. This second genuine classes of sign belongs to the representation period and also to perception. So it is a perception of a representation of reality. This uh, belongs to the communication period and perception, so it uh, is a perception of a communication and so the same thing for this one, it is a perception of a communication. These three uh, genuine classes of signs, they are all deliberative, but this one here is a representation of a deliberative phase. This one, these two years are communication of deliberative phase. And finally, we have these last three uh, classes um, genuine classes of signs which are which belong to the period of communication and scientific that means they participate in scientific communication that's how the period periods and phases help us to understand a little bit better persistent genuine classes of signs